Hello my good friends, how are you today? It's very hot, it's very hot outside. See we got the blue skies and all that kind of stuff. So we're just hiding inside, Elsie and I. We got the air conditioner on. Been working on my Panzer IV by Mini R. And we got all the tools on now. So you can see, this is the little signal port thingy you got here, down at the bottom. I'm trying to focus on. And you can have that up or down. And I've chosen it, it's the up position so you can see the bottom lights. You've got that little photo etch reflector there, which is really cool. I really like the um, plastic springs they put in. They come up really nice looking. And I got in the photo etch covers to the air system with their clips. We got their rod cleaning on. We also got the wheels on, the spare wheels. That's got a little chain, a tiny little chain to go with it. Got the other tools here. These hooks here. We've got a nice little photo etch base. And then you've got these really nice lights that I like. I've used a sort of frosted glass light. And you've got an option, you can use some other lights. But I chose that one. Then we got the photo etch fire extinguisher, which is really nice. I've really used no um, glue on that. I've just put it together and it's um, being held together by just by its clips and um, just a really tiny little dab of glue where the um, ties are. Just a really tiny about amount. And then we got the front parts here. You've got this weird little system on the front there to hold them on. So I've got to put some wires in under those two things to hold it onto the actual bar. And you get the nice little photo etch chains on the front part there. So you can have your hooks, your tow cables onto that if you want it having it towed. You get all these nice little details along there. So you get these photo etch parts that are clipping on the front part. And then you've got these front tools here. So your, sh your axes and your engine start. Didn't do too well with that one there. <laughs> Always have difficulty putting on these um, jacks. But it went on very well. Now these shuffle holders aren't as hard to put on as I thought. What I did is I just put this on separately without the shuffle and I also put this clip on so I glued them on and let them dry and then I just put the shovel in and sort of just closed that around it, the photo etch around it and um, it sits in really well. I didn't have to even glue it up or anything so that shovel's just sitting in there nicely and um, it gives it a really sort of more realistic feel, you know, not so um, uniform. Then we got the tow cables, they're starting to come up a bit better, getting rid of a bit of the excess super glue. We've got the muffler system here, which looks really nice. I reckon this looks really good there. Um, Mini Art do really well with that. That looks really much like the photos, especially how the, um, the metal comes over that thing and doesn't really touch it. I like this tow hook here. It's an added option you can use. It's a really good kit. And the thing is, you don't have to do all those photo etch things. You can really skip a lot of that stuff. I use some 0.3mm wire to make that handle. Might do that the same with, there's another little thin handle there. So now we're going to go on to the suspension. So I'll put on a little bit of 
um, tummy uh, putty to seal all the bottom part up there. And also get rid of the um, ejection pin marks as you can probably see along the bottom. Got a lot of ejection pin marks and the Tamiya putty, just dabbing that on with a, um, a brush really gets rid of the ejection pin marks underneath the really nice fender there, but not so much that you're losing your detail. And it really fills up all the gaps and gives it a lot more strength. So that's what's going on there. That's what I've been working on on my hot Sunday because I hate it when it gets hot like this, especially the first days. All right, guys, I'll speak to you again soon.